When you think of a high school engineering class, maybe you think of a model airplane. But in Georgetown, they're building the real thing. Wow, KV's Christy Melward is live in Georgetown. And Christy, these students have been working on it all year, and they're ready to show that plane off today. How's it look? Well, Brian Yvonne, you're right. This has been months in the making, and today, this morning, we're getting a preview of what the students are going to unveil a little later today. Now, I'm here with their engineering teacher, Dan Wyant, who helped them put all of this together. Dan, this is the plane. Tell me what we're looking at here. Well, this is a Vans RV-12 light sport aircraft. It was uh, built from a kit by the kids over the entire school year. We had a group of kids, uh, 24 kids, and a group of mentors that have been working on this plane, um, well, the entire school year. Oh my gosh, so this plane back here goes 130 miles per hour. I mean, it's a real two-seater plane, like you can sit in that and fly it. Uh, yeah, it's a great uh, cross-country airplane. It's got about a 450-mile range, 130 miles an hour, two-seat, just a real fun, sort of like flying a little sports car. Oh my gosh, so tell me what all went into this. Obviously, you know, these high schoolers aren't just reading about it in a textbook. They're actually putting this together. Yeah, so it's sort of, it's sort of a unique program. The kids um, uh, got the experience of a college level aerospace engineering class uh, building an airplane from a kit so it comes in literally crates and crates of boxes of sheet metal and rivets and instructions and stuff and they started reading instructions with the mentors help and started putting things together and we went from you know crates of parts to you know what you see right now finished airplane that's amazing and, and this is all part of you know merging their skills together science math everything that they've learned putting it to use for this correct yeah, that's what's uh, one of the things that's kind of unique and cool about this program. The kids get to work on a much larger, bigger scale project with lots of other people's, you know, lots of little things that over time go from small little projects into one big project, and they get to see something evolve, something that's bigger than just them, something that involves, you know, lots of different people, lots of different skill sets, and, um, you know, hopefully something that's sort of unique that'll stay with them for life. Absolutely. And the last thing that I want to make sure that we get in here, the, the nonprofit that helped you guys raise the money for this and, and hopefully to raise the money again to do this again next year. Yeah, the goal is to do this every year, um, to keep building a plane every year so you know more groups of kids get to do this. And Tango Flight's a uh, nonprofit, it's a 501c3 that we set up that's raised the money, owns the airplane, and is helping us raise the money for the next one. That's wonderful. Well, so the ribbon cutting will be today at 11 o'clock. People can come out and check this out. And if you guys want to donate to that nonprofit so that they can do this again next year, we have all that information on our website at KVU.com. Thank you so much for being here. Reporting in Georgetown, Christy Millward, KVU News.